Hey everybody, hope you're all feeling nice and caffeinated now. Uh, I'm Steve Webb, I work at Facebook. Um, I currently work in our marketing science team and our mission there is to help advertisers such as yourselves effectively measure and like ass assess the value of their advertising on Facebook. Uh, and I'm also I'm moving on to our audience network product which is where we work with publishers. So I felt with this presentation I was going to try and do both things. I want to try and speak to you and hopefully you can take away stuff as marketers that are going to be useful to you. But then also there will hopefully be some stuff that's useful to you in the publishing industry as well. I've been at Facebook for about three years now. Um, before that I, I did my time at Google. It seems like people do their time at Google now. So I was there for about ten years. Um, before that I worked for CNET Networks, various other uh, online publishers and started my career in media with IPC magazines quite a long time ago when they used to have lots of magazines. Um, so what we're going to cover today is just try and give you a bit of a flavour about what is, what is the audience network um, and then what works on it. And I think that's probably the bit like as marketers that you can probably hopefully leave with some clear ideas about some of the things that we're seeing um, be effective in, you know, in our world it's essentially a mobile first news feed environment uh, and we're starting to glean lots of experience from what's working for advertisers in those environments as well. So hopefully that's going to be something that's useful. I think one of the things I always find critical when I'm talking about Facebook is Facebook's a very mission-led organization. So like, we have shut down products that are making money. We have avoided going into areas that we could make more money, mainly because it's essentially it's a product-led organization and it's very much led on the mission. And that mission's about giving people the power to build the community, and then it's also about trying to bring those connections, bring them closer together. And the audience network kind of then is something that allows you to leverage those connections and as a publisher be able to achieve business value from that. So it's always critical to kind of remember that this isn't, you know, Facebook don't tend to approach it in terms of maximizing the revenue, but trying to think about a different way of doing things in a sector, a different way of trying to bring value to the partners. And you know, in this scenario, those partners would be publishers. The backdrop that we've kind of got, the assets that we're building the audience network on is the, the unraveled um, Facebook audience. So we've got two billion monthly active people are using our, our products and solutions. Every day there's about 1.3 billion people are coming in and using Facebook and you know, some, some of the usage figures are absolutely astounding. In, in the US, on average, people are scrolling through about 300 foot of news feed every day. So you can kind of think about that in terms of the content that's in there. Like it's roughly the, roughly the size of the Statue of Liberty. And people are coming in, you know, they're coming in like in the UK, they're coming in on average like 15 times a day. Uh, and they're spending like, you know, 40 minutes in, in the news feed. And so we're able to both you know, think about like what's the right thing to kind of interact with them. And then what do we learn from that in terms of being able to pass that on to, to advertisers as well. And I think one of the other critical things is Facebook like pivoted maybe five, six years ago to being very much a mobile company. So these people are in cross environment. They're cross browser, they're cross device, they're on tablet, mobile, desktop, but increasingly it's the mobile device which is where they're coming in and interacting with the products. And we, we look at this as like the Facebook audience and then we're able to build products that sit on, top or sit on top of this and also use and leverage the insights that come out of this audience to be able to work with advertisers and partners to like, get, you know, get the right message in, in that mobile environment. So in terms of what it is, the Facebook audience network, um, I mean, I would hope that many of you are using Facebook already as an advertising um, channel and the stuff that you put on there will go across Facebook's owned and operated uh, properties. So that will be in the news feed, it'll be on Instagram, um, and then the audience network is, the, is where we try and take those, those people, those audience buying um, methods that you use on the Facebook owned and operated products and then extend them out to our network of publishers and apps. So essentially it's about really trying to take what works on Facebook um, and then bring that out to, like, to, you know, to other environments um, which are primarily uh, mobile 
at the moment, but then we're also starting, you know, adding more and more desktop um, inventory into this. Try and make it as seamless as possible so you can ex effectively extend any campaign that you've got running on Facebook. You can extend it with a single click and then you can start to get more reach and more frequency or whatever your business objective might be. You can start to get that on, on, on other areas which are beyond Facebook. And what we find when we're doing that in terms of the signals that we see is that advertisers are valuing three things. And we're very much trying to move the industry away from what tend to be the metrics that have grown up with digital, which are around clicks and CPMs, and you've kind of got proxies that made sense when digital was evolving, but increasingly don't make sense because people are spending most of their time on digital. We're very much working with advertisers to focus uh, on, 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 you know, on clear business objectives, such as brand lift, um, and you know, and su such as lifetime values. And what we found is advertisers are like valuing three main things. First of all, it's attention. So just making sure that their ad gets in front of the right audience, but then also working with them to make sure that their creative actually stops that thumb as they're scrolling through that 300 foot. It's about the interaction. So what's the right type of interaction that you might want to have? Um, there's obviously different objectives that you may have. So it's trying to make sure that the interaction that you have with, with the audience is, 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 uh, is a good one. And then there's the long-term engagement. So it's really about how does an advertiser work with Facebook to make sure that the relationship with the audience and with the consumer is something that goes on beyond just like a kind of single hit of, you know, they clicked, they did this. We want to try and work with advertisers to think about longer term um, objectives. And many of these are true then when we're speaking to publishers as well about putting, putting our ads and putting our, our ad engine onto their site as well. So in terms of like, you know, how we do this, um, it's really about trying to engage people. So most of the stuff that we do in the audience network is native. So Facebook has got one of the biggest ad servers that's serving ads into the news feed. And what we try and do is work with the advertisers that are on there to get them to put their assets in. And then we use the, like the artificial intelligence and also our experience about what's working in the feed to get the right creative message in front of the, in front of the consumer as they're going through that news feed. So we're trying to bring that experience into the mobile app and mobile web environment as well. So we find that native advertising is, is much more effective than just taking desktop formats, which sometimes are just TV formats that have been repurposed for digital. We find that it's much more effective to do native advertising in app than it is just to simply bring, bring um, formats from, from other, um, other areas in. We find that then leads, when, you, when you're kind of thinking about the environment in which your ad is being uh, presented, then we see that user engagement starts to go up as well. And again, from an advertiser perspective, this is great because people are interacting with the assets that you've spent all of that time and effort putting in place. But also from a publisher perspective, it means that there's a better advertising experience in your app and a better advertising experience on, on your website. And we find that then that's helping publishers um, increase their user retention because pe people are coming back because they're finding the ads are much more, much more attuned to what they want to do. That's then leading the revenue that's coming for publishers. Um, so this is maybe the other side of the house in terms of um, you know, the organizations you work for. But you know, we're paying out a huge amount of money that's going, going out uh, to these app developers and going out to these, these publishers as well. The main reason for that is that they're tapping into the demand that we've got at Facebook. So we've got 5 million advertisers who are using the platform. And it's everybody from the world's largest advertisers right down to people who are promoting events or you know, might just be selling, selling something from their bedroom. But they're, you know, with 5 million advertisers that are using that platform. And that's something that you know, continues to grow. And you know, if, you're, if you're in the audience network, you're tapping into that demand. So as those advertisers start to take advantage of other channels, other inventory sources that are coming there, then it starts to like, give you access to this is a huge, um, huge area to tap into. With the market inside of the house on in terms of like, you know, what we see as being the solutions that are really helping people engage with users, um, there's three main areas I want to focus on. The first one's video solutions, um, which I'll talk a little bit about like how, how we render those ads. I want to talk a little bit about the display solutions and then an area where we're continually trying to develop new solutions are what we call on Facebook. So we're trying to work with the publishing industry to find the right way for your content to be put into the news feed so that people engage with it and also helps you, helps you monetize that content as well. So 
I talked a little bit about um, you know, some of the different formats that we've got, and these are just some examples of how we're trying to work with publishers to really put like innovative uh, formats that like you know that, that just sit intuitively into these like news feed and these um, app environments. And really, what we're thinking about is like the native advertising you can see on the left. You know, it's clearly clearly distinguished as a as an advert, but it has the look and feel of the feed that it's in. The interstitial again that you see the one in the middle. You know, it comes at a natural pause in a game, and it comes at a point where you know it's a it's a it's a vertical full screen interaction and then you've got like your like more standard um, end stream ads on the right and this is from a publisher perspective what we're seeing is doing these type of ad formats leads to higher CPMs for you as a business so whenever you're putting advertising in front of consumers they want to engage with it they're going to be more more inclined to engage with it and because you're tapping into that demand that we've got with those five million um, advertisers then it's leading to higher ECPMs for your properties, so it starts to become like a really, um, a really good revenue stream. Same thing from a display perspective. Going native basically increases the interactions that you get from ads. So hopefully you can look at this from two perspectives. One is as an advertiser thinking about how you can increase those interaction rates that you might have in, in the um, activity that you're putting out in these different environments. Like going native leads to like a, like a higher increase in the engagement, but also as a publisher, in terms of monetizing your inventory, it leads to a higher CPM. So those higher engagement rates really then lead to people engaging with the ads more and then starts to lead to more revenue that comes through to, to, to you as a business. I talked about how we're innovating um, on, on Facebook. So it's incredibly important for us. You know, Facebook it tends to be either the first or the second kind of traffic referral um, for, for most publishers. And people increasingly are starting to share and consume content on, on Facebook. So we're working really to try and pioneer in this space and find a way for content creators to be able to utilize that audience that want to stay in the news feed, want to watch video, want to engage, find a way for, for, for them to do so. So that was like, a, like a, an ad break that you just saw there. So you've got a content creator who's doing Facebook Live, clearly flagged up in terms of when the ad is coming, uh, and then they get this like brilliant sort of like mobile first uh, format, which then renders as, as the user is watching that content. And these are areas where we're trying to innovate and trying to bring new solutions across, across the different um, interaction points. Um, same thing with instant articles. Instant articles is really just trying to find a way that your content renders as quickly as possible when somebody's in the news feed, because we find speed matters. People who are Used, like people who are using mobiles want stuff quick and they, like, um, they'll move on incredibly quickly if it, if it doesn't render. So we're trying to work with what we call instant articles, which again gives publishers a way to get their content into the feed and get those interaction rates high, but then critically also gets them a way to, to monetize that as well. So they're able to put uh, native type advertising, very um, attuned advertising into the instant articles and we're seeing traffic lift and revenues go up for, for publishers where we're working with this as well. So that's just like a really quick um, flyby in terms of what the audience network is. Hopefully there's stuff there that you can take away both as an advertiser but also from, a, like from an industry perspective, from a publisher perspective. Um, you know, we're very much focused on this because we believe you know, what we've seen with our business, you know, you've got 85% plus of the interaction with Facebook, consumption of Facebook now on mobile devices. We're really trying to, you know, take that experience, take those lessons and start to apply it out to, to the publisher ecosystem and also find, you know, environments where users can consume in a, in a much more effective way with the advertising. Um, so we're really about trying to create this ecosystem uh, with the publishers, but also trying to innovate and find ways for advertisers to engage with consumers on mobile devices, which I think is something that we all know we need to do. Um, and it's, you know, it's becoming increasingly clear that just simply taking formats from, from, from one uh, channel and plopping them onto this one doesn't work. The way we do that is getting feedback from, um, you know, from people in the industry, getting feedback from you, and that's something that we're always open um, to. So hopefully this has been useful from both sides of those houses. I'm more than happy to take any questions if we've got any time, but that was everything from me. <laughs>